clean neighborhoods, safe neighborhoods with excellent schools. Clean neighborhoods, safe neighborhoods with excellent schools. Clean neighborhoods, safe neighborhoods with excellent schools. I should just do a whole show, repeat that for the next 60 minutes. I've been thinking about doing this for a long time. Just do a whole show and just repeat the same words. Clean neighborhoods, safe neighborhoods with excellent schools. Clean neighborhoods, safe neighborhoods with excellent schools. Remember, there's only a handful of people, there's only a few fools, mainly young black men, who destabilize the neighborhood. Young black men who were raised by women. Young African American men committing crimes and terrorizing the neighborhood because they're uneducated. And they have no manners, a little manners. They know better, they just ain't done better. They know better. Yeah, Stag Elementary School. Cool. Clean neighborhoods, safe neighborhoods, and excellent schools. Why can't our preachers, politicians, and community community potentates just draw the line and say we're not gonna have it? That's it. We're going to work on these mothers and these grandmothers who are raising these little boys. And so we're going to raise these little boys properly so they become young men and men of substance. Not criminals and urban terrorists. Now y'all get mad when you hear that term, urban terrorist, but come on, y'all. Come on, man. And I, you know, I'm just rolling through the hood. Here's Guggenheim. This is the Guggenheim they're going to close down. That's happened to be Roland of Morgan. Guggenheim. This one is like one of the worst schools on the planet Earth, so they say. Now remember, when they say bad school, that don't mean the students are bad human beings. And it ain't their fault. Guggenheim. Guggenheim is one of the schools they actually gonna close down. They're gonna reconstitute us. I forgot what they what they gonna do with Guggenheim. I should go inside, but they like, who are you? Gonna tell us what to do. <laughs> Guggenheim. So that was the Guggenheim School, like 71st, 70th to 71st Street and uh, Morgan. I'm rolling right up Morgan. Right through the hood, y'all. Guggenheim. See, the public schools, you know, they can fix public schools, but the point, the heart, they're not fixing it the way they should because the parents are not demanding the best for their children because they're low income. Now, here's Wentworth School. And you know what? I see why they're probably going to close Guggenheim. You know, uh, you know, African Americans, we have left Chicago. 100,000 African Americans moved out of Chicago in the last 10 years, according to the census. This is uh, according to the system. Census. So, so this is Wentworth. So they're probably closing Guggenheim because so many African Americans have moved out of uh, the city of Chicago where they don't even need the small Guggenheim school because it's right up the street from the uh, Wentworth School, Wentworth, Wentworth Elementary. So maybe that's why they closed it. Then again, they say Guggenheim's a bad school. I have to do your research. You go online and you can see how good these schools are. And I, you know, they have the statistics online that according to the test scores, the test scores determine a bad school or a good school. They don't really tell you how good the teachers are or the administration or leadership, they just say the kids are bad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Guggenheim, this is Wentworth. Now we rolling up Morgan, northbound on road. Mor I got nine seconds, today I can make this light. Seven, six. This is 69th Street in Morgan. Rolling right there, got speed up here. Roll to that light. And, uh, I don't know if this is considered Inglewood or not, it's still Auburn Gresham. 69th and y'all can call me up. 69th and Morgan. Is it still Auburn Gresham or is it Inglewood yet? Or do you got to go down a little bit further north? Northbound. 
clean neighborhoods, safe neighborhoods, and excellent school. It starts with these mothers and the preschool and the grammar school. If you don't get it together by 10th grade, it's old, I mean, after 10 years old, the kid is done pretty much. Some people say five years old. Wait, oh, let me straighten up the camera here, waiting for the light to change. This is 69, uh, Marquette Road and Morgan. I'm rolling to actually going to to Limbloom to do some business. Long story. I can't. Well, that's private. I can't tell you what I'm doing at Limbloom. So I'm rolling up to Limbloom, which is on da near Damon. But clean neighborhoods, clean neighborhoods, safe neighborhoods, excellent school. This may be boring, but you know when we listen to WVO and radio. And we have, you know, you know, all these talk shows. They always talk about the plight of the low-income poor black folks and all that kind of yin yang. But this is where it is, and it starts with parenting. You see this young girl? She 15 years old having this baby, or even the mama? She 25, or 35. Better if she's 35. But if she's 25, baby, why well, your little girl, your little boy gonna go to preschool, grammar school, high school? Come on, think about it. I am saying that some of our young people need parenting classes, like they have sex education class in grammar school. They need parenting classes, and it should be inculcated into the sex education class. Parenting classes. Figure out what, what's the goals for your son or daughter. Come on, think about it. Think about it. All right, I'm close to 63rd Street, so I'm gonna go over to Limbo and do my business. So let's close out. Clean neighborhoods, safe neighborhoods, and excellent schools. Tell these little girls how to plan their children, how to raise their children. Parenting classes, parenting classes, parenting classes! Stop having them babies. <laughs>